Ray tracing laser technology is new. What we do for the first time is we develop an optical model of the individual eye of the patient. We pass about 500 to 700 beams of light through the eye and we can see how the light is behaving in this individual eye. From that, we create an avatar of the eye. We can virtually treat the avatar of the eye and then present it to the patient for actual treatment. So imagine you're buying clothes. Would you not like to try those clothes before you buy? The same way we try these treatments on the virtual model eye and then apply it to the patient. This is what increases our accuracy and efficacy. For the first time, we could treat people and take them beyond the 2020 boundary. Our research was in the real world. We treated 400 eyes. We watched them over three months. We got stable outcomes, and in 8% of patients, we got as far as 2010. This is such a small line that we don't generally have eye charts that test that low. So we had to change our eye charts throughout the clinic to even test them at that level. This is very exciting outcome for us. Normally, when we do laser eye surgery, we assume everybody's eye is the same. We know the power is different, but we take that power and create a laser pattern and apply it to an eye thinking it's the same as the other person's eye. For the first time, we are able to measure the components of the eye and put it together as a model, a mathematical construct. To create this model, when this was attempted 10 years ago, it used to take 24 hours of computing to create this model. Now it takes four minutes. The ray trace laser eye technology is transformative. This, for the first time, it's made us rethink the design of the laser pattern of what we want removed and how we can customize it almost to the same extent as each person's fingerprint is different, the laser eye treatment is different for each eye.